So, you want to make a film? Well, you've come to the right place because we'd like to show you how we do that here at Casual Films. Now, before I begin, I should probably explain that each film we make is different, so don't worry if we don't do every single step in this process, in this order, for every production. Either way, there are three steps. Pre-production, production, and post-production. Pre-production is where the briefing, planning, and organising happens. OK, ideally you'll have completed a briefing document that will act as a framework for the project. This will include things like your objectives, your audience, deadlines, and an idea for your budget. If you know exactly what you want, that's great. Otherwise, we'll provide you with three concepts from which you can pick one that you want us to develop further. Once you've chosen, we'll write a script that will go through various drafts until you're happy that it's right. And then next up is the storyboard. Now this is where you get an idea for the film's composition, how it will flow from scene to scene. Depending on the treatment, we may need to find a voiceover artist or some actors to star in your film. Or you may want your own staff to feature. Our team have experience in teasing out confident performances in even the most timid staff. The last part of pre-production is working out where we're going to film. Now, you may already have somewhere in mind, or we'll find the right place and obtain permission to shoot there. Production is where we shoot the film. Most films are shot with a core team of three people. A director slash camera operator, a sound recordist and an assistant. We include a standard lighting setup with our film packages. This is suitable for 90% of applications. However, it's really easy to add anything extra if you need a few more bells and whistles. Other pieces of equipment we may use are dollies and jib cranes for fancy moving camera shots. These make the film look just that bit sexier. We can even use helicopters and pyrotechnics, but they're not always necessary. Depending on the setup, location sign can be recorded straight into camera using directional and radio microphones. If we record audio separately, we use a clap to help editors synchronise picture and sound. Voiceovers are recorded in our soundproof studio. <clears throat> now is the winter of our discontent. Shakespeare. Post-production is where we bring all the footage and sound together. This section differs slightly for live action and animation. Live action editing takes roughly a day per every minute of film. We'll compile a rough cut for you to review. Remember that this is only a draft, so don't be concerned if it looks a little rough. 80% of the polishing is done in the last 20% of the production time. With your feedback, we'll then work together to produce a film that we're all happy with. We'll then have the film sent for grading, where the colour is tweaked to make it look right stylistically. This is where the film will finally be looking its best. Animation takes a little more time at around 3 to 30 seconds per day. This varies depending on the level of complexity you'd like. With animation, we'll begin by showing you two basic elements, the style and the animatic. This is just a rough video with a temporary voiceover that brings the storyboard to life. It's very important to make sure everybody's happy, to avoid spending lots of time amending at a later date. The animator then works through the approved storyboard with time for a few tweaks before the final sign-off. We then look at the music and master the sound. This makes all the difference to the viewing experience of a film. If you want to use a well-known commercial song on your film, we can purchase the rights for you, although this can be very costly. You may prefer our own in-house music team to compose something especially for you. If there's no budget for that, no problem. With your help, we can source something from our extensive royalty-free library. The process of adding sound effects like this, or this, it's called sound design, and this is crucial in animation or dramatic live-action films for adding that extra layer of magic and helping to really tie the whole thing together. Finally, the sound is mixed and mastered to make sure all the levels are just right as a final audio cherry on top. Delicious. Once all of this is done, we prepare the video for delivery by encoding and compressing the raw footage into the format that you require. For the internet, this is usually MPEG-4, QuickTime, or Flash. Now you just sit back and watch as your film enlightens and engages audiences wherever you show it. This has been How To Make A Film. Film. Thanks for watching. That was good. I think that's yeah. all right, isn't it? Yeah.